In the handle content, the seventh and the last cooking recipe take name of snail roll cake. In order to unlock it, you have to start visiting the Earl's Winds Shade area. In this region, you can find several spawn locations for a special item you can collect. That is an uncommon item called the Magic Snail. You will need to collect 100 of them for the mind recipe. From this location, you have also a small chance to find the second ingredient called the Magic Albino Snail. But if you will be unlucky, you will need an extra 100 magic snails in order to craft one. So, in the worst case, you will need 200 of them. Going back to the Elzwin's Shade area, there are 10 locations you can visit in order to find this item. For the first, start from the bottom side of the map near the shadowed earth tree port. From where then, you have to check the bottom right corner of the tree port area. Here, slightly above the forest, near the overhanging, you will find something to investigate on the ground. That is exactly where the first spawn point is. For the second, in the next area, check the top left corner, where the spawn point is slightly to the right from the huge tree. For the third, continue using the passage going toward the blue arrows to the top right and check the first cavity in the upper section. Here, the spawn point is in the middle of the overhanging. For the fourth, continue going toward the blue arrows and check the second upper cavity. Here, after an NPC above the small forest near the overhanging, you will find the spawn point. For the first, it's time to use the first upper blue arrow and check the next cavity on the left. Here, behind a group of enemies, you will find another overhanging, and on its bottom corner, you will find the next spawn point. For the sixth, it's time to reach the East Stardust Forest Report in the upper section of the map. From where, then going to the bottom right, you have to check the bottom left corner of the next area. Here, the spawn point is inside the glowing plants in front of a mountain wall. The seventh is in the same area you explored previously, but this time in the top right corner, where the spawn point can be found at the feet of a huge tree. For the eighth, it's time to visit the Western Dust Forest area in the bottom left side of the map, where you have to check the right side of the small passage between the two mine areas. The spawn point is inside the blue pond in front of a huge tree. The night is also in the West Stardust Forest area, but this time above the right dark spot. Here the spawn point is in front of a series of glowing plants. The tenth and the last one is also in the West Stardust Forest, but this time in the bottom left corner. And the spawn point is a few steps to the right from the glowing huge plant. Now continue visiting these spawn points until you will obtain 200 magic snails, or 100 magic snails and one magic albino snail. The next step is to complete the main storyline of the continent. Then visit the glass lotus lake area. To be precise, it's bottom side near the flow stream village tree port. If you finish the mine storyline of the continent to the top left from the tree port location, you will find a rapport with the NPC called Orelda. You need to bring it all the way till the maximum level called the Trusted. This will allow you to climb the last report achievement reward that has the secret cake recipe as the second item. Now that you have them all, it's time to visit the Rufum area, where you have to go to the bottom left tree port called Artisan's Forest. Slightly to the left from it, you will notice a cook NPC you have to speak to next. Here, thanks to the sixth recipe, you will be able to convert 100 magic snails into a magic albino snail. While thanks to the seventh recipe, you will be able to convert 100 magic snails and the other two ingredients into the snail roll cake. Now that you have it, it's left only to open your inventory and use it in order to unlock the adventurous objective you came for.